welcome back to the Osseum Physio YouTube channel. Today, to continue for our neck and headache series, we are going to be covering cervicogenic headaches. A cervicogenic headache is a headache caused by the structures around the neck region. This can either be due to tightness of the surrounding neck muscles, pulling on their attachments, producing that headache symptoms, or can be due to compression or inflammation of the facet joints, the joints in the neck or the disc, referring up into the head. If we're taking the cervical facet joints or the joints helping the neck rotate, bend and extend and move, what happens is they have a very, very specific pain pattern. Usually if we lock up and we compress or we inflame a joint on one side, it usually gives unilateral headache, potentially pressure over the eye and over the face, with also referral down into the neck and the shoulder. The exercises we are going to be covering today is how to release tension around the neck, how to get it moving, how to stretch, and how to reduce the risk of these headaches occurring. Number one, we want to add heat around the neck. This can either be with a hot water bottle or a wheat bag that you can put in the microwave, placing it around the neck for approximately two to five minutes to soften the muscles around the area. Number two, we want to add in some massage. We can start around the base of the head, a circular motion around the base and moving that rotational movement down towards the front of the neck and then around the back down towards the shoulders. The reason why when we're doing this circular movement and we're massaging, we're reducing tightness and tension, getting fresh blood to the area and helps to free up the neck. Next, we want to tailor in specific movement for the joints of the neck. We can start off by gently bringing chin down towards the chair, so very slowly. The idea of a cervicogenic headache is we want to very gently gap open the joint, so very slowly looking down. So think like a count of five. So a lot slower than we've done with the other exercises. So slowly bringing it up and slowly bringing it down. Aim between two to five reps, then going into obviously normal rotation that we've looked at before. And again, same thing. We want to slowly move through the neck because if it's sore and inflamed and obviously giving us headaches, we want to gently tease out that tension. So approximately two to five reps. If we're on, wanting to isolate specific joints, particularly up around the top of the neck, we can look down and then rotate. So again, we're trying to hit all parts of the neck and rotating side to side, nice, slow and controlled, aiming between two to five reps. So we want to add stretches around the neck so this is all stretches that we've looked at before but so so key to relax that tightness so upper traps what we've looked at before clasping the hands around the base gently dropping the chin down holding between 15 to 30 seconds again same with the movement really really slow good only go as far as you feel comfortable don't force it into the stretch you want to add it it's quality over quantity same with the traps as they come down and into the left scap turning the head away looking down this is the side we're stretching either just leaving it in that position if that's enough or adding that additional resistance and stretch if we want to feel it more holding between 15 to 30 seconds and then repeating on the opposite side as well as hitting the scalenes so relaxing the shoulders we're going to bring the ear away turn towards the side we're stretching and then look up very gently holding that there feeling it round the front of the shoulder aiming between 15 to 30 seconds again really nice slow and controlled same the other side ear down to opposite shoulder turning towards looking up and you can you can see it here through the muscles stretching through those scalenes good and then relaxing back finally this is a tip that me and Oliver have discussed in terms of decompression and taking the pressure off the neck so taking the resistance from gravity and letting the neck relax is what I'm going to show you is relaxing onto a book so what you do is you place the book around the base of the head so relaxing back lying on your back knees up and then as you breathe gently allowing that relaxation of the neck. The only try this technique if it feels comfy, we want to aim between four to five minutes and what you should feel is that the neck starts to stretch, so starts to release. 